Hello and welcome to AutoDS. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how we quick editing a listing. So from the active listings page, we can go, we can go to this symbol, this icon of the notebook, and this will allow us to quickly edit our listing. So what can we see here? The image of the listing, the, listing, the title here, the cell item ID, the upload date, how many times it was sold in total, the sell price. Now I can choose to update the sell price right from here. Let's say now I want this item to be sold for $25.99. You'll see that it automatically changes the uh, additional percentage profit that I have for this item. I could have also chosen to, let's put it back, uh, to just change the additional the additional dollar profit. So I can add $5 here, okay? And I'll see the final estimated profit right here. I can change a break even to a specific product. Notice that this is something that we allow and many other competitors don't. You don't have to have one specific break even for each of your items. You can change the break even in each upload or every edit of a listing. So let's say this listing, I don't know, I have a coupon for, for and I can choose that the break even would be lower. I can put up to a minimum notice of 10% break even. This we do this minimum in order for you not to lose anything. So you won't be able to go down from 10%. Uh, and you can of course change the additional dollar percentage. You can choose to work on both. You can choose to have Let's say, for example, for this listing, now I say that I want $5 profit on this item plus one percentage of the total sell price. I can change the title. The change here will only take uh, effect to um, the title of the listing, okay? Not the title inside the description. It's very important to note. Uh, so let's say I want to remove this end from here. Uh, I can change here the source item ID. Let's say that this specific listing is now out of stock, but I found a different seller in the buy box that sells the same item. I can paste the number of the ass in here, or maybe I found it not from Amazon, from a different supplier. I will paste the source item ID here and change to the relevant supplier. Of course, you need to notice uh, changing the item location and policy uh, as necessary. I can choose to change the quantity right here. Okay, so I want 10 units to be available and I can tag. Now our tagging system is very, very useful and very smart and I really recommend you to use it. How do we add a tag? Let's say that now, let's say this could have been a Mother's Day gift, okay? And I've been uploading products that are mostly related to Mother's Day, I can give a tag Mother's Day. After I wrote the name of the tag, I click on the blue line here and it's been added and this listing has gotten a tag. Later on, I'll be able to filter by this tag and I'll show it in a different video. I can add a note to each, each of my listing. You can write here whatever is good for you to follow up, to remember. For example, if I would have had a coupon for this listing, uh, I probably would have written the coupon here, okay? And the code, whatever it was, na na. We, you can allow a specific item to be still monitored and not go out of stock by checking allow marketplace. Allow marketplace means that you work as a general rule with only prime products on Amazon. It's only relevant to Amazon. And by checking the box here, you allow this specific listing to still be out of stock, although it's not sold by uh, a, in prime. Okay, so this is very important to notice if you want the, the item to be back in stock. And of course, you need to make sure that your policy works with this specific uh, seller that you choose to work with. Next thing, you can choose to disable stock monitoring by clicking here. So for example, if there is 
uh, a reason why you want to put an item as out of stock and keep it this way, the actions you'll need to do will be to put first the quantity on zero and then check disable stock monitoring. That means that in the next scan, which happens every one hour, the, our system will just skip this listing and won't change back the stock according to the source site. Um, next thing you can do is do the same with auto ordering. You can disable auto ordering for those of you who work with our automation system. You can choose this item not to be automatically ordered and it will Im immediately go to uh, a standby. Sorry, this is a, uh, it will go immediately to a standby status in the orders page and not go into the process of ordering. And you can choose to disable the price monitoring for any reason that you choose to do that. Of course, it's not really recommended because prices keep changing on Amazon. But for example, if you decided that you're selling this item for a very, very high price for some reason, you and you don't want it to be changing, just click disable price monitoring and the price will not change. What else can you see here? Last notification. What was the last notification received for this item? Uh, usually what you will see here will be um, notifications about the stock status if, a, if an item is out of stock or in stock and sometimes you will see uh, errors from eBay that did not allow the system to change the listing so it is crucial to sometimes have a look at that uh, but you will be able to see all notifications up on the bell icon here. What can you do in the more in this uh, window you can choose to end the listing if you click on the red button here it will end the listing on ebay and of course will be removed removed from the monitor if you click on the yellow button right here this listing will only be removed from the monitor but will still remain active and offered to sale in on ebay you can choose to relist the item relisting meaning ending the item on ebay and immediately um, uploading the same item again with all the settings that you already have here. This is recommended to use when an item did not get, uh, a listing did not get too many views or watchers, but you still think that it has chances of selling. And by relisting it, you're giving it a second try with maybe more exposure from eBay. You can go to a full item edit from here and I'll show that in a separate video. And of course you can save the changes, which is what I'll do now. And you'll be able to see uh, the tag. Uh -huh, it didn't let me do that because of some eBay settings that I didn't do for this. Here's the tag. I need to give it a number. Uh, this this error message was related to eBay and let's save the changes ah, let's write a note save changes and now the page is going to be refreshed and you'll be able to see that we have a note a little tiny icon next to the edit saying that there's a note you see this little red icon this meaning this means that this item this listing has a note and if i'll add the note and the tag let's remove the title for example so we'll be able to see here we can see what i've added a tag of mother's day and the note that's it for the quick edit uh, option and i'll explain more in other videos about bulk change and the rest on the active listings page.